So next turn, we'll have seven energy total. Cracked, obviously. Broke it. Broke it. Ooh, candy. Oh, snap. Opponent snapped. Let's play a game. Conquest is silver, I think. Need more than seven energy on the last turn, right? gene lane on the right where they've been forced to play. Got to uh, have our deck do the thing we wanted it to do in theory. Feels good. Build up that gene path and then Heimdall juke them with it. Move Nightcrawler mid first. They all move to double the Craven bonus. No, I want Heimdall to end middle. Heimdall doesn't slide himself. So I want I want Heimdall plus these three middle, and then I want these four on the left. Gotcha, real smooth. Yes, exactly that. Ah, 
Ba-dum! Victory! I'm pretty sure I've dealt with the game as illegal, yep. See, this deck's at least we're doing something novel with Jean, right? We're like doing a thing where it's like, okay, she's accomplishing a unique purpose here. She's not just here and we're winning around her. Which is, which is nice. Yeah, I ducked the crap out of the Shadow King there. Felt real good. Alright gamers, I'm gonna take this one of the gold conquest before we do. It's time for an ad break. We'll see you in 120 seconds. Thanks for hanging out. We're gonna play some more Gene Slide when we get back. BRB. Watch it on the YouTube side. Consider tapping the like button while you're hanging out. Don't go anywhere. Yeah, this deck, this deck really doesn't look like a Heimdall deck, right? So it gets that, that juke value. I did, Ben. Thank you. Yes, drops kick off tomorrow. Another round of 350 credits and a pixel variant for everybody. They do start an hour later, because they didn't adjust the start time with DST. to get a pixel discard variant for 2,000 credits. That's true. Some of the pixels are good if they're in albums. Why did I randomly get 1050 collector's tokens? There are two groups of collector's tokens in the login rewards right now. One for 150 and one for 250 for a total of 400. Avatar looks sweet. It does, doesn't it? Oh, snap. Oh, this is gold. I didn't need to snap on one. Whatever. We have 11 tickets. <laughs> Opponent snapped. I mean, I think I'm pretty happy with White Hot Room moving Nightcrawler into here. Could be destroying here where X23 is, but they could also be trying to fill the center. Hopefully this is a killmonger. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy.
All right, we'd like our copy of armor, please. the Cosmo to get their lane. That's so funny. I didn't think about that. It's a good shout. What a game. That would have been a that would have been a sick line. Ian, I think we're actually dead, unfortunately. I don't think 19 wins here. Oh, they're leaving. Victory. Yeah, I guess their Zola's not good. And their their doll's not that large, right? Maybe we're, maybe we're fine there. Their doll wasn't that large, their death wasn't that cheap. Let's go. Hey, Jan, thanks for the three quarters of a year. Welcome back. Not seen armor yet, no. Can they close to a staff sabbatical? Feels like I'm only seeing one deck on the ladder. That's because there is only one deck on the ladder. are currently playing in what I would describe as a tier zero format. Heimdall's not great. We kind of need to draw Cosmo. Victory. Thankfully, armor plus their draw was worse. That's not a command we've used in a while. Let's link that to best so it'll update automatically.
Let's just Delt Combat out. Are we a bully chat? Yes, but also is it lovely? Also, yes. These matches are part of the destroy contract. They knew the risks. Yep. Should we Jeff left and kitty right? Yeah, baby. That's fine for us. We're winning. We're winning all three here. They do have two extra energy. They have eight. As Untapped tells us between Blackstone and X23 dying. I realize this after I played Gina Buds, but she's probably a card you don't want to be popular because ability can be frustrating to play against. Yeah, I, I think that that's definitely the case. I think they're cautious about making her a powerful effect, and that's why we haven't seen OTA to her, even though she doesn't have a high play rate. Victory. She's an incredibly disruptive effect, where if she has a competitive stat line, she shows up a lot. It's probably obnoxious for a lot of people. Should the should you buy Mockingbird video is taking a bath this morning. Might be the last time we do one in that series. The last one. The last one performed like okay. It was like good enough to be worth doing another. If you liked if you liked that silent video last week, be sure you check out this week's. Well, so like that's the case, right? Like it's not just a the saying everybody already got Mockingbird. It's also a these are the best decks for Mockingbird, right? It's supposed it's intended to serve a twofold purpose, but as is as is the case, YouTube is disappointing, and I probably shouldn't shouldn't bother trying with new things. I. Yeah, Kitty would be nice. Is there a way to rebrand the video? I don't know how to frame the video other than best decks or should you buy. 
What's another honest way to to showcase what what that is doing? And now we just need to draw Polaris as our best draw. Cause it's just the most stats. The game heard that Jeff is no longer taking Galactus submissions, mood. Three, you screwed up, you said honest, yeah. What's the biggest thing a Loki deck typically has in it? Mockingbird? Yeah, we're dead to Dino and Mockingbird. We'll leave. Escaped. Yeah, not worried about Eliath because Cosmo's there. I guess they also might not be Loki. I don't know. Weird, weird combination. This is pretty common in Loki. These two are a little strange though. Patches, thank you for the four years. Welcome back. COVID has really made times great, indeed. Hello, kitty. What a pretty kitty. Ooh, that's a good thought. Could be a Sarah build playing Stogard as tech is a good, what are they doing thought. Pixie is interesting. Guys, gals, and non-binary pals, we got him. The hi the Hivedel jukes off of the gene feels so good in this deck. Welcome to Thunderdome. Yeah, the opponent's just playing like Devil Dino Pixie cards. They like maybe there's a Loki in there somewhere. Gene, Gene stack right into Heimdall slide them out is truly amusing. Double Ice Band's like less good here than it could possibly be because they are a Mobius deck.
Our deck really isn't good into Sinister One, dude. Okay, confirmed to be some type of Loki Pixie evaluation then, huh? Loki Pixie seems interesting. I actually think Loki Pixie seems quite atrocious. So, Pixie as a deck wants you to be able to play a number of expensive cards a bunch of cheaper things and loki very much does not fit that mold now the good news here is our deck sucks into sinister london and they just drew our deck so we've got that going for us I think if they don't adjust something in the Thanos deck on on Thursday, it's going to be one of their biggest balance misses since they adjusted Time Stone and accidentally made it better. This is four plus nine. That eh, might be right to leave here. Tied up. Hopefully get him in a round where this location isn't up so bad for us. I would also be very sad if they elected to murder Mockingbird instead of uh instead of adjusting something at Thanos. Because the other the non-Thanos Mockingbird decks have such reasonable and fine stats. Glenn's answer makes it clear he does not see... Can someone link the Glenn post people are talking about so I can see it firsthand? There's been some spookulation going on in chat that I would like to see for myself. Versatile with a wide range of synergy hooks. Generally, we want to print good cards, and Thanos can make use of many different kinds of cards. We do like Thanos being a deck. He's cool, but he's also easily overserved. Which is which is essentially to say that a higher number of cards on average go into Thanos, and they're aware of that. 
Man, life's a batch and then you die, huh, chat? What you're saying is another nerf to bounce has been confirmed. Yes, essentially. Do I snap the Heimdall draw with the gene? I think so. So this pulls Quake into the center, which is good, except we have some another smaller thing there. Oh no, wait, I didn't play Polaris. I'm dumb with like hope. That's fine though. This lets me Heimdall and Sentinel this turn. I do this, it gives me 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 on the left. Oh, actually, Kitty Pride is better because Kitty is 1, 2, 3, 4, and then a fifth here. We get Eliath out of this game, but other than Eliath, I think we're in a pretty good spot here. They Eliath us middle, they get us. Oh, actually, they don't get us with Eliath middle, right? They'd have to Eliath us middle and play something bigger than two over here. Which is possible, but not likely. I guess they could Sentinel. Yeah, if they have Eliath plus they have a Sentinel that costs one. Got him. The, the Gene Heimdall chat is, I don't know. I don't know if it's good, but it's really fun. Victory. This has, been a, this has been a sweet set. We've gotten to do that. We've gotten to do that a few, a few times and it's felt really good every time. Just like make you load up over here and then just like peace out. Why is Kitty better? Kitty triggered the X-Men bonus. So during the event, Kitty was better because Kitty was two and she added two and then she added another one here. Definitely feels very cute, Thiefy, yeah. All right, gamers. Uh, it's time for an ad break, but we're going to let this one see if it can finish its infinite tickets since it's been sweet and fun. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you at 120 seconds for the culmination of this. YouTube gamers, don't forget to set the like button if you're enjoying the stream over there. Thank you to our viewers for sending in this sweet pile idea. Are you still getting the X-Men bonus? Make sure your client's updated, Doom Buggy. The X-Men bonus is going until uh, Thursday.
But Genius made this deck. Uh, this was a Jean Grey build around submission. That's true. I did I did build the deck, but it was uh, Jean Grey was the build around submission. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have explored it without you. Quick copyrighted, something like that. With the unbalanced patch now, is it going to be a seasonal thing? It, so it sounded like they planned to make it a seasonal thing when they said this month, when they announced this one, so. So long as we don't have to miss an OTA for the imbalance patch, I think having a change once a month like this sounds great. I like it way better than feature locations. I gotta say I like the build around submissions much more than the torture Jeff submissions. Well, to set a low bar, the build around submissions tend to be more likely to be successful than people sending in specific decks just because I'm probably a little bit better at building off better things than most people. Iktok, thank you for the three quarters of a year. Welcome back. Thanks for lurking and supporting while you do. I'm playing anything other than Genshin and Snap. I am uh, almost through the entirety of Witcher 3's main story for the second time on New Game Plus. I've been taking my time with that and doing some more exploring and stuff. That game and world is truly a masterpiece. BKU Hex, thank you for the 47 months. Welcome back. Much Gwent to my plan. I have played zero games of Gwent Lifetime. Oh wow, they also played center. Were they expecting them to play here? And then so I could pull them center? That's sad. We won this coin flip, which means I Cosmo Asgard, right? Because they're about to play a brood. like a bad matchup for Gene. Yeah, probably. Asteroid M's not really doing us any favors either. I could go armor Iceman here 
And then on five, I could Heimdall here, move Jeff, slide the monster into here. Snap. Wind aid my hand. The staff was a little late, but I think we're still in a good spot. So we're hanging. Still, still works. A surfer or C2? I would assume they're C2 based on, or, or surfer based on the forge. There's been a lot of this X-Men surfer deck going around. has been absurd this set, truly. Just like easily. Like, Gene's been reasonable in spots too, especially alongside Heimdall, but like, yeah. Oh, order. Yeah, yeah, I should do this, right? So I don't pull this into here. Good job. Oh man, that sucks. <laughs> Thanks for the, thanks for the eight cubes, bud. They also, worth noting, opponent, if you come back and watch this stream after the fact, Wolfsbane counts face down cards now. So if, even if you don't get trash canned here, you should put these in the other order so your Wolfsbane pops and then your surfer pumps your Wolfsbane. <laughs> 